Greetings, puny humans. In advance of the anniversary movie, the doctor has entrusted me with briefing you on cinema etiquette. <laughs> my choice. <laughs> I've invited my clone batch to this screening. As you can see, we Suntarans are capable of exemplary levels of rapt attention. <laughs> it has become very clear to me that your feeble human minds are not so disciplined. See here the results of unruly viewing practices. This insubordinate fool attempts to open a communications channel during the last screening oh, to his command post, codenamed Fury One. Fiona? The name was Fiona? Quiet, scum! No active phones are allowed in the viewing platforms. Switch your communication devices to silent. Talking during the film is also a crime, and you must maintain a minimum volume during the consumption of fluids and nutrition packs. <laughs> this feeble specimen proves that while cloning some talents is a magnificent duty, attempting to clone a cultural broadcast with <laughs> recording equipment is the greatest of all war crimes. Despite these transgressions, there are some human habits that we some talents can learn from. I particularly approve of your human tradition of mercilessly exploding these puny corn creatures <laughs> on their popped remains. Remember, popcorn can feel pain. <laughs> ah, those tiny screams. <laughs> the film is starting. <laughs> Sorry, I, I'm him. I am cueing him. Well, cue him again. Doctor! Oh! Is it me? Yes, now! Hello, everyone! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Aha! Hey, there you are! Oh, brilliant! Hello, welcome to the 100th anniversary special of Doctor Who in 12D! <laughs> No, really? <laughs> Sorry, oops. In 3D! How about that? Is there a budget card? <laughs> Sorry about that, a bit confused. Time travel, you see, I've just watched the 100th anniversary special. All 57 <laughs> doctors still. Yeah, 3D, that's good too. Which reminds me, actually, time to activate your 3D spectacles. Please prepare to initialise your facial furniture. On the count of three. Ready? A one, a two. Uh, three, put them on. All right. <laughs> now, before we enter the third dimension, which frankly is travelling slowly by my standards, a safety check. There are Zygons in the building. Sorry about that, but there are. And they're very hungry Zygons, dying for a snack, as some of you will be shortly if you're not quick. Now, as you know, as all of you know, Zygons can disguise themselves as people, so we don't know which of you are real or which of you are alien monsters dying for their dinner. Fortunately, we've fitted out your spectacles with Zygon detectors. Everybody turn and look at the person next to you. Oh, hey, yes, that's right. So stare at each other right in the spectacles. Everybody find a staring partner now, please. Hello, hello, it's a hungry alien emergency. Now, to activate your Zygon detector, just close one eye, like this. All do that now. Great. Now, look at the spectacles opposite you. If one of the lenses has turned black, that person is really a Zygon and is going to be put at some point during the movie. <laughs> Please, don't panic. It will only disturb everyone else and there's really nothing we can do to save you. Okay, everybody, eyes front. It's time to go 3D. Brace yourselves. <laughs> As you know, 3D can make things stick out of the screen a bit and, well, frankly, let's be honest, a bit chin. So, anyway, here it comes. Get ready to duck. Hope that was 
okay. As you probably noticed, the increased definition of 3D really makes you notice all those dark bits <laughs> and the spit when he talks, but that's just all part of serious Dolby briefing. You might say it adds a third dimension. Yeah? Very <laughs> Doctor Who. <laughs> Greetings, puny humans. In advance of the anniversary movie, the Doctor has entrusted me with briefing you on cinema etiquette. A wise choice. I've invited my clone batch to this screening. As you can see, we Sontarans are capable of exemplary levels of rapt attention. But it has become very clear to me that your feeble human minds are not so disciplined. See here the results of unruly viewing practices. This insubordinate fool attempts to open a communications channel during the last screening to his command post, codenamed Fury One. Fiona? Her name was Fiona? Quiet, scum! No active phones are allowed in the viewing platforms. Switch your communication devices to silent. Talking during the film is also a crime, and you must maintain a minimum volume during the consumption of fluids and nutrition packs. This feeble specimen proves that while cloning some talents is a magnificent duty, attempting to clone a cultural broadcast with recording equipment is the greatest of all war crimes. Despite these transgressions, there are some human habits that we some talents can learn from. I particularly approve of your human tradition of mercilessly exploding these puny corn creatures and feasting on their popped remains. Remember, popcorn can feel pain. Ah, those tiny screams. The film is starting. Okay, and cue him. I am cueing him. Well, cue him again. Doctor! Hello! Is it me? Yes, now! Hello, everyone! Oh. Oh, well, that is a bit disappointing. Ah, ha! Hey! There you are! Oh, brilliant. Hello, welcome to the 100th anniversary special of Doctor Who in 12D! Hey! No, really? Oh, sorry, oops, it's in 3D. What's good about that? Is there a budget car? That is. Sorry about that, a bit confused time travel. You see, I've just watched the 100th anniversary special. All 57 Doctors still, you know, 3D. That's good too. Which reminds me, actually, time to activate your 3D spectacles. Please prepare to initialize your facial furniture. On the count of three, ready? A one, a two. Uh, three, put them on. Hurrah. Now, before we enter the third dimension, which frankly is travelling slowly by my standards, a safety check. There are Zygons in the building. Sorry about that, but there are. And they're very hungry Zygons. Dying for a snack, as some of you will be shortly if you're not quick. Now, as you know, as all of you know, Zygons can disguise themselves as people, so we don't know which of you are real and which of you are alien monsters dying for their dinner. Fortunately, we've fitted out your spectacles with Zygon detectors. Everybody turn and look at the person next to you. Hey, hey, yes, that's right. So stare at each other right in the spectacles. Everybody find a staring partner now, please. Hello, hello, it's a hungry alien emergency. Now, to activate your Zygon detector, just close one eye, like this. All do that now. Great. Now... Look at the spectacles opposite you. If one of the lenses has turned black, that person is really a Zygon and is going to eat you at some point during the movie. <laughs> Please, don't panic. 
it will only disturb everyone else and there's really nothing we can do to save you. Okay, everybody, eyes front. It's time to go 3D. Brace yourselves. Sorry, sorry, just had to take over for a moment. Hello. Um, as you know, 3D it can make things stick out of the screen a bit. And, well, frankly, let's be honest, the chin. So, anyway, here it comes. Get ready to duck. Hope that was okay. As you've probably noticed, the increased definition of 3D really makes you notice all those lines and creases and crinkly bits and the spit when he talks, but that's just all part of... Stereoscopic vision. You might say it adds a third dimension, yeah? Very nice. Thank you. Doctor Who.